Thank you for listening to the Wife vs. the Expert. We appreciate your time, appreciate your energy. Make sure that you share the Wife vs. the Expert. If you can't watch the whole video, then download the podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. Hit her up at Denisha Danielle, me at George Reister, or you can shoot us an email. The email is in the description. Please make sure you share it with a friend because we do this because you guys have asked us to. And it's kind of fun and therapeutic as well. All right, let's get to the let's get to the gram, right? The program. Not yes, let's get to the gram. You're probably wondering why I'm sitting here with no shirt on. We're in the middle of quarantine. Weird things happen when you're sitting with your significant other and your kids all damn day. <laughs> so I would so she brought me a shirt in here to change into, and then I took the other shirt off and I was just feeling real natural and real free. So we're shirt free today. And then and she was like, George, you should put a shirt on. I was like, for what? It's Flex Friday. This is when I deal with y'all and 24 <laughs> hours a day. We got a, 24 hours a day. We got a bunch of good things up for you guys today. So everybody has been super excited. Well, actually, first thing, we hope that your families are safe, right? <laughs> right? You have to check with me on that one? Yes, we do. Yeah, your family is safe, healthy, whole, and that you guys are uh, social distancing. Some people still aren't taking this thing seriously, but, you know whatever uh hopefully everybody's all right um first thing up club quarantine have if you look on your instagram live and your facebook live everybody is going live like every little thing at the top live 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 these groups some of them are very meaningful you know starting with dr fauci and steph curry when they did their thing together that was solid right Uh uh-huh then everybody wanted to do it and then dj d nice he jumped it off, had Barack Obama on, had everybody on, followers went up like he was- Well, he was DJing. He does yeah. like a whole set. So he calls it Club Quarantine for those of you who do not know. Um, but he's been doing Club Quarantine where he just goes bananas and everybody jumped in. Michelle Obama, Barack Obama. I don't get it. Joe I, Biden, I think. I don't get what's so exciting about Club Quarantine. Like he, well, it, you don't like you. Have, a dude, you're not really a a, a big time social guy. Like a, it's a dude DJ. You I never mean, went to a club and like went. What are you talking about? You know how much money I spent in clubs. I'm not saying you didn't spend money in clubs. I'm saying it wasn't your real thing. That was not really your idea of fun. At least not the George when no. I met you. Yeah, like I wasn't going to the clubs as much. When I met you, I had kind of grown out of that stage. But, like, it's fun to go with you sometimes. But it's a dude <laughs> DJing. He's just standing there in different hats every second. Or whoever, whatever DJ you're in, in club porn to. Yeah. And I'm just like, bro, this is cool. But I don't get the what the excitement is because i've looked on twitter and instagram people get dressed up to go to club quarantine like they're putting well, it's on just clothes something to do. it's just something to do and then all your friends do it they do like watch parties and they go back and forth and they're like hey girl you want me I- i'll go get you a drink okay girl like it's just fun just something to do you also don't do the friend zoom calls I do the friend Zoom calls. Yeah, she doing and that Zoom is calls fun. with a we, friend. We have a good good old time. And he's like, you know, gets all, I don't even know what you're doing. And I'm Because we're having fun. We're having like a three-hour social hour. It's fun. What else are we going to do? Like, that's how we have to spend time with our friends. Will, will somebody please call George and do a Zoom call with him so he can have some fun? <laughs> it got to be more than one person. Otherwise, you just FaceTime him. <laughs> I've been FaceTiming people. You, it's the same person. You only FaceTime one person. No, that's not true. I FaceTime Sammy, FaceTime the Brett, FaceTime the bu- bunch of other people too. You FaceTime Brett? Sometimes, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, especially since he's been in South Carolina. You FaceTime Pharaoh. Yep. And you FaceTime the kids. Yep. I have never seen you FaceTime anybody else. FaceTime my my parents. When? When they want to see the baby? Yeah. Okay. FaceTime my auntie, uncle. That that. Be, anyways, it'd be people on my FaceTime. But anyways, like I get it. He needs so, he needs some more friends. But y'all. the the one that I did get into, mm-hmm. we watched a little bit was T Pain versus Lil John. Yeah, I was in on that. Like, cause somebody. Can you can you put your shirt back on? Why? 
fine, man. Jeez. <laughs> Control them. Because you're like, because it's just hard to look at you just. You act like you ain't never seen me with my shirt off. <laughs> I have, but just talking to you. There you go. Anyways. That's nice. All right, let's go. So I like that one, but I wasn't all into all the other ones because some of the people, they're too slow, all of this. And, and it feels like people are biting at this point. Like if you're going to go live, you got to add some value. But some of the, and some people are adding value with their with their live. Some people are just copying. I, I want you to add value. Bring something new. Well, and I haven't to the table. really been able to do like club quarantine because we actually have been very busy at our house. Like yes. for us to be under quarantine, we are like getting stuff popping. We're like reorganizing things. We're still working, paying off bills, calling credit card companies doing videos and and so we are staying very busy so i haven't really been able to do the club quarantine but i actually really want to do it you know what i decided to do since we've been on uh on stay at home orders hmm. so we we've been making tiktoks with the kids and all that. i didn't get tiktok at first i'm i'm gonna be active on my tiktok i have decided what yes i'm getting tiktok popping cuz <laughs> so silly seriously you'll do it for like a week and then you won't well I'll, I'll probably more consume content on tiktok than make con tiktok content i want because i so we've seen Why? some really there's some really cool stuff on tiktok like what like that video that we saw with her like falling down tori did a tiktok today like some of them are cool you act like you don't like then do it. I ain't You've got You've been time. learning these damn dances. Don't act yeah, like you I have can. not. I can do all of them. Uh, uh. Man. I'm stallion. Classy, moody. Whatever. Exactly. See, look. <laughs> see, you like it. See. Don't, see, don't be trying to act like. See, she trying to act like, oh, I'm too cool. I'm too mature. I'm too, I'm too well, sophisticated. Well, I'm not going to consume the content. Yes, you. That's the whole point in being on there. That way you get, see things and try to do them. We should post the TikTok that we did with the kids. We haven't posted it. Okay. We'll do we'll do that apparently. Anyway. Um Okay, so the next thing is um we decided that we were going to come up with four people that we wanted to be quarantined with. Mm -hmm. And so uh behind the curtain, we have a list of topics that we're going to talk talk about on the screen behind us and all that in front of us and all that. But what I did this time, I did not put my four people on the screen because she might have stolen some. So the I nerve. put them on oh my phone. My <laughs> you are the stealer. No. You are you are the content stealer. Go no. ahead. Let no, me no, see. no, no, no. I'm, I'm ladies first. No. Because I have a strategic. My, my I list know is mine. Down. Okay, you give one, I give one. Okay, cool. You give one, I give one. You first. Gordon Ramsay is number one. I should have known you would pick that. Okay. Why? Because he can make a lobster Wellington. And I actually and, thought. And we're gonna eat good, boy. We gonna I actually eat good in thought club about. Quarantine. I actually thought about that because I was like, I gotta have somebody that can cook. And, well, I and, can cook though. But you're I'm, not gonna I'm be cool. there. Hey guys, uh, if you guys have seen Corona Chef, hashtag Corona Chef. That's me on Twitter. <laughs> but I, you're not gonna be there. So right, it's it's me yeah, being correct. quarantined outside of my family. Correct. So I thought about, okay, I do need to find somebody who I really enjoy their cooking. But Gordon Ramsay, he's a little much personality-wise. So I don't know if I could be quarantined with Gordon Ramsay. He's different. TV Gordon is different. Than well, like, yeah, we met him that one time and yeah. he was very nice. But he's still, you know, he's still got a hard edge. So that's why I didn't pick Gordon. But I should have known that you would pick Gordon. My number one, Auntie Oprah. Duh. I have to have, if I get a long time like that, of course I'm going to pick Oprah because we're supposed to be besties. Okay. What's your next one? My next pick is LeBron James. The reason why I'm going with LeBron James. Mm -hmm. LeBron's going to bring some fun. Okay. He's going to bring, he brings some, uh, uh, so we're gonna make videos. We're, we're oh, and he's we're make videos. he's my and, and and he's my fitness partner. So he's gonna make sure I don't get fat in quarantine because he's got to work out for the season. 
So LeBron James is going to be the person that makes sure that we stay in shape. So he's going to be fun, stay stay in shape, and he's a smart dude. Like, he's socially conscious. He's a good guy. Like, I feel like I could learn some things from LeBron and then offer him some things, too. I feel like it'd be a good uh, give-and-take relationship. Okay. I, good person to be quarantined with. Okay. Okay, go. Nick Jonas. Nick Jonas? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yes. You couldn't find better entertainment yes. than Nick Jonas? Because we've been watching The Voice. He's taller than you, taller than him. I don't care. I don't care. Nick Jonas. Oh my God. You're like. Is hot. You're like a lady who's stuck on like in sync or something. He's hot. So I like Nick Jonas right now. And he'll be quarantined with me. Out of all the damn entertainment that you could have got, the great. But he's you, nice. You could have got. Uh, John Legend, you could have got. He's uh, married. What are you gonna be having sex with Nick Jonas? <laughs> what? No, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what kind of? What are you, what are you well, doing? Well, Nick Jonas is married. First of all, I forgot yeah, exactly. about that. But no, he. I just want him to sing to me, and be and be hot. <laughs> he is hot. Out of all the damn entertainment that you could have got. <laughs> I'm not saying that Nick Jonas is not a good entertainer. However, there are much better options. Would you agree Nick with that? Nick Jonas. Hi, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a teeny bopper right now. You're trying to stay too young right now. <laughs> wow. What's your next one? Oh, my God. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Nick Jonas? Good God. Be embarrassed because he's hot. I don't care. Go ahead. Be embarrassed. I would have rather you said Blake Shelton. I would rather you had said Idris Elba for entertainment because he's a DJ. I like, I love Blake Shelton. I would rather you said T Pain than than uh, Nick Jonas. Oh God, yeah. how do you like me and Nick Jonas? I, how is that possible that you're attracted First to me all, and you're attracted to Nick one, Jonas? Number one, number <laughs> like that doesn't even make sense. Number one, I I don't really have a type. I I like. Every I like different men. I like smart men. I like funny men. I like, you know, athletic men, kind of, not really. Um, and <laughs> and I like, uh, you know, I just like different kinds of men. So I don't really have a type. So it could be anything that floats my boat. Okay. My third person. <laughs> you just, you, that was a hard segue. Oh, my God. My third person is J Lo. Oh, really, J Lo? She don't want to hang out with you. Uh, I was considering. See, I was debating between J Lo and Beyonce. Uh huh. Like, okay, so at least J Lo. If we're quarantined for a long time, I can come out with a new new skill. She can teach me how to how to be fluent in Spanish. I can. I'm serious. Like I can at that least learn so some, late. and you she's would be pretty to look to, at you'd too. You'd be trying to just—I don't know. I done had a, I I, I've had what you would. I've be had doing. a crush on J Lo since since I since she was on a Living Color Boy. A, 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 like, a Rod just this, got to, get this creep away. A Rod, I just I just found the greatest woman in the whole un, universe first before I got to J Lo. Otherwise, it would have been J, J Lo this and no A Rod. Um, who's your number three? Barack. Obama, because I love him forever. <laughs> so you gonna come out of there with like a a a, a menage toi? I'm with... not trying to have sex with him. That's dirty man. I'm not trying to have sex with him. I'm just trying to absorb from him. Okay, so you got. Why Oprah. would I pick some? Who else would you pick? So you got Oprah. Oprah. J Lo. No, you I, got I'm J -Lo. sorry. You got Oprah, Barack Obama, Nick Jonas. Nick <laughs> that don't even match. So you trying to live your best life, change the world. Uh, you can you you could probably get a good spades game with uh with with Barack. I don't know about Oprah. I don't know if she know how to play. I think play she spades. could. I think she know how to. She know how to but, play bid whiz. But but we can teach her though. I know she had to play bid whiz. Okay, so okay, I just don't understand. I guess because she's married to uh, because Nick Jonas is married to Deepak Chopra's. Uh, daughter, so I guess you they kind of fit a little bit, right? Yeah. Sort of. Alright. My last person that I would like to be quarantined with is Marcus Lemonis. 
Oh, that's a good one. I'm choosing Marcus Lemonis because if you put me, Marcus Lemonis, Gordon Ramsay, LeBron James, and J Lo, we coming out with 20 billion off that thing. <laughs> that's you what you think? Say? Hell yeah! I have okay. great, I have great ideas. Uh huh. Marcus has got a boatload of money. And he's got a know-how, expertise. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so I feel like Marcus, I could learn so much from him. That's true. And then having somebody in the business world to be able to, on speed dial, to be able to call when you need some help and all uh -huh. that stuff. Uh -huh. And then the most important thing about my group is this. The best thing about my group is this. Is that none of the people in my group hang out already. Okay. So there's going to be no clicking up. So we all got to get to know each other. I mean, even though like they probably all have met, like you don't see them doing shows together, like at parties together, really. So they're not going to be able to click up. Oprah and Barack going to be uh, in, in the room somewhere. No, like, they're not. I'm going to be right there with them. No, they already unless clicked me, up. I mean, unless me and Nick are spending quality time. That's so ridiculous. <laughs> okay, who's your first person? <laughs> okay, this is this was a hard one. This was hard. Okay. Because my first one, I was like, okay, who would I be able to spend um, this amount of time with, right? So it has to be somebody who has a similar sense of humor, right? Okay. And somebody that you can have some fun with. All right. <clears throat> so Chrissy Teigen. <laughs> oh, you're a doppelganger. <laughs> She's not my doppelganger, but she, it, I, I thought she would be fun. Y'all, y'all would get in Twitter trouble together. But I also. Y'all get like, thrown in Twitter jail. No, that's for sure. Um, but I also like my new YouTube sensation. Jordan Page. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you going to bring her 30 kids with you? No, but she, she has, she has some good ideas, man. That, that woman knows how to run a ship. So if we, if, if we got Jordan over there running the ship, making sure everything's cool, and we got Oprah being Oprah, we got Barack being Barack. Okay, your your accumulation of talent, uh, like you you have talent. Yes. However, your 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 teamwork, terrible. I, I can see what you're saying. Because who, but I'm the glue. Who, I am the glue. Who's going to clean up around that crew? Jordan Page. She has all of the cleanup tips. Who's going to clean up in your crew? You think J-Lo cleaning up? Mm-mm. No, honey. You're no, crazy. no, honey. She she has... That was why I debated LeBron between, ain't cleaning up. That's why I debated. But no, LeBron is used to doing dirty work. Like, like he's a glue guy, so he will well, help why, out. No, you're so, going to be the cleanup guy. Yeah, right. Uh, out of that group, uh, you're so, the cleanup guy. So, uh, look. No, Mar Marcus Amona sweeps floors on his shows, everything, dude. Like, he does dirty work. You had some good ones. Exactly. Good I have one. people. Our house is going to be clean. We're going to be well fed. We, uh, like, yours. O Oprah ain't even went to a bank in a billion years. Uh, you got, who else did you have? B B Barack Obama, his but secret service Oprah. is going to be. But she's open. Barack Obama hasn't done anything for himself besides going to the bathroom. I'm just going to absorb and... all of that wisdom from Barack, from Oprah. Just I'm going to absorb it all. I, you know, then, uh, then if not if not Jordan Page and not Chrissy Teigen, I mean, it's hard to say no to Michelle. You got to have Michelle. Yeah, See, Barack. I didn't. I thought about a couple. I thought about Beyonce and Jay Z. Except for here's what I didn't want. You don't want a couple because what what happens sometimes with couples? <laughs> they, they, fight. they fight. They get in an argument. <laughs> so if J Lo and Beyonce get in, I'm sorry, if Beyonce and and uh, Jay Z Jay Z get in an argument, the whole house the, and the then tension lemonade all, starts all over again. Yeah, exactly. We nobody got time for all that. <laughs> nobody got time for that. All right. Um, speaking of quarantine, uh, <laughs> quarantine violations. We're going to mm -hmm. talk about violations in terms of quarantine oh, are we doing violations. Say it with your chest? Yes, we're doing say it with your chest. Oh, okay. Um, not right now. Okay. Good. Well, we're talking about quarantine. Quarantine violations. violations and boundary violations. Okay. So boundary violations, we're talking about like when somebody's like, "Yo, here is my line. Don't step over it." <laughs> and and so, do you guys have boundary violations with your kids? 
do you have boundary violations with your uh with your significant other see like me there are certain things that <laughs> will send me through the roof first thing kids don't take the dogs out if there's dogs have an accident in the house i'm i'm ready to like kick doors down um, because I'm like, you need to take them out. Like, like, don't be lazy. That's not a boundary violation. Okay. Um, well. That's like pet peeve. Whatever. Boundary violation for me. Um, <laughs> there, there are things that the kids can't touch. Are there things that your significant other can't touch? Like, like for instance, we're in my man cave right now. And Denisha has sometimes felt like she can just come in here when she feels like I it. do not want to come into your man cave. Okay, good. good. I, I have no desire that to be is, into this that, man cave. If that is how this you is feel about it. my kind of energy. If that's how you feel about it, I have done a good job aesthetically. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, but Denisha has some boundaries. Like she does not like the kids. So she's got two computers at, at home right now. She's got a big Mac a desktop and a laptop computer and the kids had some work to do and she was like kid can't be on my computer bah, 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 bah. kids need their own computer for sure and if if something happened to my computer i can't work I this get, is not like i get that but but no, we needed don't. a temporary solution <laughs> until the stuff well, came then in they, Amazon. Then use your computer. Oh, 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 really? So it's not okay for one of your two computers. Like, it's not like you're making music. You don't care. You're not making music. No, like, you're I'm not making, making art. Money. You're not making art. That's right, but I'm making you're, money. You're talking about Word documents. Like, stop. Like, it's no, not, it's, if it's my not computer your, gets like, lost or damaged, it's I, no. Well, th part of that is because it's happened. Denisha's like old lady, old technology lady. <laughs> So like you put a no, new I'm user not. on her computer, she she's like my computer's not working right. What's no, happening? Like, no, you think you're a little I'm Mr. Like, Technologically Savvy <laughs> that every time he fix something, he finds a way to break it. No. So that's that's where you not savvy. On I there. just think that it's I just find it funny. I just as, find it funny that as Devin would say, I just find it funny that um, anytime that like <laughs> she thinks that if you like open uh, that if you uh, do something on the computer. She's like, oh, that just broke the computer. It's not working right now. I'm like, Denisha, that means there's something else. <laughs> like the uh, other day, she said that her computer, her brand new MacBook, I'm sorry, brand new iMac, big desktop computer. Oh, uh, it's not working, working right. I'm like, niche. Because you put parental controls I'm like, on it. Niche. You know you did. This is a $3,000 computer. Right. There's no way in hell. <clears throat> uh, because uh, I was typing this rainbow wheeling and I was like, listen, some, something's up. I was like, why is your computer running so damn slow? Because she you, was like, you I don't know. Something, you messed because it up. Because my like, IT person niche. messed it I'm up. I'm like, niche. There is some reason why. Because there's no. you broke it. I was like, okay. So anyway, so turn turns out Denisha had like fifteen programs open, two different and, uh, two different browsers. And, She's running iMovie, dude. She was using like twelve megabits of RAM or gigabits of RAM, whatever. She was using way too much. Had like and I, then I, in and the, I I still and don't in don't the see your point. And in the browser, she had like. 30 tabs open in each one. They're they're playing like ads in the back and running background. <laughs> so I'm like, I look at them like, no wonder your computer's running slow. Like you're using every single bit of it. So anyways, let, let's go back to the boundaries. What about it? Do you think that people should have areas in their home where kids, where yes, kids can't I go? Yes, I think everybody needs to have their own space, their own time that they have a boundary around. You, every mom How knows. I don't get to have boundary around my time. I don't get get to be like, yo, I'm off right now. I'm off. Which which you do sometimes. <laughs> you be talking? you you be like, you put the kids to bed. Bye. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, when do I get to do that? When do first I get to all, just be like, first I'm of not all, every single day because you just you just check out. Like you're like, I'm like, where is my husband? As I'm. Got a crying baby making dinner, and you're like, oh, "I'm playing a game." That's you checking out when you go play your little silly games or whatever, or when you go to the bathroom 
If that's not your me time, I don't know what is. Because this man will go to the bathroom. <laughs> He'll be in there for like 45 minutes. Like, that's not me time? Because when do I get 45 minutes of anything? Like, what? any time. Are you serious? Yes. When do I get 45 minutes? Nature. Uh, Even when we, we've done this two-hour shift thing where we he gets to work two hours, I work two hours, then and we take you know shifts with Roman. During my shift, George be coming in the office talking. Roman comes in there playing. I'm like I'm I'm working. I'm in work mode right now. Can you please skedaddle? Nobody. No, you actually call me. Hey George, come no, here. No, no, no. Hey George, no, come here. Never. And then never have I done that. Never, never. You're just going to sit here and lie to the people. No, George, I don't do that. I don't know if you are hallucinating these 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 calls, but I'm not calling you. <laughs> I'm not calling you. Don't even try You it. called me today. No, I didn't. George, can you help me move this desk? That... <laughs> huh. That had nothing to do. That was because I was doing an interview. So move the desk and... Depart. Oh, oh, I never call you in there. I only call you in there to, to do work. My IT. Exactly. My IT and my <laughs> furniture moving. But I thought you never called me in there. I don't call you in there just to come in there. And you <gasps> come in there every single time when I'm doing my you work shift. I, and when you're doing your work shift, I don't do that. That's is, all my point is. This is why she's the wife. Because I honor the, the boundaries. I could be taking a shower. This is, George loves to do this. I'm taking a shower, relaxing. I come out of my shower. I have a towel on. And he's in there playing with the kids on the ground. In, and I'm in my towel. And I was just imagining like I'm going to be relaxed right now. Nope. nope. You you have nerve. I was in the shower. I've been in the shower. She comes in the shower. Hey, George, why, do, why, why are you playing music in the shower now? Why are you playing music in the shower now? I don't I don't know. Why? I'm like, will you leave me <laughs> That's alone? That's true. That's true. Because you and, just be in there just hanging out. And I got things to do. <laughs> exactly. Infringing so if you're playing on, all this music, you're going to stay in there longer. And it's going to mess up my flow. Exactly. Her <laughs> flow. Um, so, Nish, when the coronavirus is over, though. Uh-huh. When the coronavirus is over. Yeah. What does that say? How long before kids can have play dates and how long before we can have, because we're, we're known for our legendary parties at, mm -hmm. at home. So mm -hmm. if you haven't been, been invited, sorry, um, shoot, a, shoot us a note if you would like a. An invite. Yeah, an, an invite. Um, so how long before we have a party <clears throat> and how long before we're back at football games? I think it's a it's a wrap. What's a wrap? The parties. I ain't having a whole bunch of potential virus and asymptomatic carriers up in my house. I don't know. How long? So if orders were lifted today, I wouldn't trust it. How long? Uh, this is April. Yeah. Like if orders were next April. Stop. If, if orders were lifted and it was like five people who died today. No. We would, I or would, if zero, zero people died today. I Honestly, I'm not, I don't really know. I don't really buy it. Like, it's going to be a while because even when it and the virus, quote unquote, ends or whatever, the threat is not so serious and they lift the orders, then there's the possibility of that bounce back that we could have like within three months or when flu season comes back around. And I'm just not trying to, I'm just not trying to do but that. But don't you think that things are getting a little bit better? It looks like they're getting better. Well, I, th I thought they were getting better before and then they weren't. So I, okay. I'm, I'm managing my See, expectations. The only, the only thing that matters to me really. So that the NBA season finishes the way the Lakers can win a championship. Cause it is only fitting that the Lakers win the championship in 2020. Mm-hmm. Um, cause I got, I, so. I got a little sad the other day when Kobe got in the hall of fame. Mm -hmm. I mean, just still just breaking my heart all 2020. Like, oh man. Um, so the Lakers have to win a championship, but 
I would sacrifice the entire NBA season as long as college football gets played. Well, I you do... said the other day you would sacrifice somebody's mama. You're not supposed to say that. <laughs> it was a private joke. Like, can we have we some have marital boundaries? We tell them everything. We have no privacy. What are you talking about? Oh, my God. Okay, so I'm a huge college football fan. I am huge. Got a, got a chance to watch Oregon play Washington today. I'm going to go watch them play Wisconsin once we're done here. And then oh, they're see, playing but you Arizona. don't have no time to do anything. No, I had it on this, this is like what I'm background talking, But noise. this is what I'm talking about. You ain't got none, none of your me time, no. but you got time to watch a whole football game. I didn't when get a I chance to watch, to watch a whole football I saw whole, like the whole last whole football game. I saw the last quarter and a half. I don't have any time. I While can't I was even on watch a, a 30 minute sitcom without Ooh, being speaking, interrupted. Speaking of that. Um, <laughs> so as long as football is played. And yes, I did say I was joking when I said it. <laughs> Jeez, Louise, you're gonna make me sound like a monster. Um, that I mean, yes, you said I would, it. Yes, and it, I think you it was it. an exaggeration. I, I said I would, I would make it. a blood sacrifice for a college college football. It was a joke. College football fans are just fanatics and crazy. You had Auburn, Alabama. They killed a tree. They killed like a hundred year old tree. I don't think you were joking. Anyway, I think you were really willing to sacrifice somebody's mother. No, it's college football. It's important. I'm just messing with you. Um, now, oh, so, but I do think, but going going back to that, which, um, how long before we get back to normal? Because I do think that we do have to get back to normal at some point in time. Yeah, of course. Of course. But, we'll just play it by ear. Like, I mean, kids, kids, play, play dates, but I'm not cool with people. I am judging people, though, who are having play dates and parties at their house right now during stay-at-home orders. Who's that dumb? No, there's a lot of people who are doing it. Who? They may they may be watching. Well, you're dumb. Ooh. I'm just saying. That's, that's... offensive. <laughs> but it's not offensive to make somebody's mama a blood sacrifice? See, don't, see why you got to keep bringing up old stuff? Hey, Romy. Oh my goodness. Come on, buddy. Say hi. Hey, buddy. No, you can't grab that. Bye, buddy. So, so anyways, you. Uh, so you know how R Roman goes to outside the box. How long before you take him back to outside the box? Because oh, those sensory classes are dope. I don't know. I don't know. I honestly really don't know. I don't know what it's going to look like. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Let's get to my favorite segment. Yes, now it is time for her favorite segment and mine. I'm going to let you go first today. Let me get my timer out. Say it with your chest. Time for say it with your Wait, chest. what was that? Where you get a minute. Where you get a minute. Don't be trying to look okay, at my... Okay, I know my, what I'm going to say. Where you get a minute to... Each of us gets a minute to say whatever is on our chest. Get it out. The other person cannot rebut it under any circumstance. You cannot say anything about it on the back mm -hmm, end. Mm -hmm. So You ready? You got your timer out? Just so you know, say it, just so you guys know, say it with your chest last time. Started a problem. My mother <laughs> came over our house and was like, I don't know if y'all should do that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just... Just love on your husband and wife. Why did I say it in there? I don't know why you did that. Okay. So, hopefully this doesn't scare scare my mother. Because my mother was like, how, how is he supposed to get a... Uh, get a job if you're talking about his hygiene. <laughs> Wish he was wrong. But anyways. All right. Here, here you go. Set. Go. Okay. This is what I want to say. Since we've been under quarantine, we have not had a housekeeper and I and George and all of the kids have had to step up on our housekeeping duties, which I said. That ah! we do oh. And I would like you to give me credit because they always make these jokes and because I'm a career woman that like I can't do nothing domestically. Number one, I have been making some bomb food, amazing food, amazing food food. And number two, I have been an organizational queen. Oh, I got 20 seconds. I've been an organizational queen. I did KonMari last year with our closet. 
I have, I did the kitchen and he told me when I was doing the kitchen, he was like, it's not like you know how to organize or anything. And then I did the laundry room. So what I would like you to do is give me credit for my domestic goddess Stop. abilities. I can't, I can't rebut it. So I can't say anything back. Good. Hmm. Now it's time. It's going to be full of malarkey, whatever you about to say. <laughs> okay. So I'll, I'll, I'll keep my own timer. Okay. Let me get, get my handy dance. Oh. No, give me the timer. I'm a, so I can ant you. Ready? Yep. The hypocrisy <laughs> of this woman here, whom I love so much. So, Denisha is like, occasionally we will be laying in bed. She'll be like, oh, Georgia, what are you doing on your phone? Blah, 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 blah. And this weekend, we had an off day <clears throat> this weekend. And I said, Nish, can we just watch TV the whole day, binge watch all this stuff? She can't stay off of her phone while we're watching shows that she gets lost on. We're watching Ozark. She can't keep up. She's on her phone, like scrolling through Instagram. And I'm like, Jay, she's like, George, what, what, what happened? Who is that? I'm like, stay off the damn phone. And then she has the nerve to get mad at me about it. But I can keep up. She can't keep up. So stop being on the phone while we are watching television, watching shows, because you can't keep up. And then you get mad when I go ahead. Ah! Stop it. There what, it is. What's the next? Okay, I have an idea for a segment. Okay. <clears throat> this was inspired by your mom. This is inspired by your mom. Because she said, you know, we shouldn't be doing this. Say it with your chest. So now you have to say a minute of everything you love about me. No, no, no. I'm going to let you go first. Okay, go. <laughs> okay. So this is my gratitude for my hubby. He has been a champ when it comes to taking care of the baby in the middle of the night. He gets up all of the time. When, when Roman wakes up in the middle of the night, cannot say enough about how much I appreciate that. He's even stepped up a little bit with doing the putting to bed duties at night, which he was not doing any of that. So I appreciate that. Um, we've been a really good team in terms of getting stuff done around the house and, and getting our ideas. And he's been very, very inspirational about getting back into shape because I ain't in shape right now because of the baby. And every day he tries to get out of the house. So I really appreciate that. You still got time left. Come on. Come on. <laughs> and I'm glad you shaved today. It took three weeks, but I'm glad you shaved That doesn't today. sound very... Uh, <laughs> you did something. Wow. Backhanded compliment. Boy. No, okay. I'm glad you shaved today. Uh, instead of saying when you when you tell me, you actually look pretty. Anyway. I don't, that is not how I that say it. That is what it. you say, actually. There's I do no use other the way. Word There's actually no way. Too much. I do overuse the word actually. Okay. But because I do get. All right. Well, well, here's your chance to make it up. Okay. So, what I appreciate about my uh, 2476 wife is. is um, 20. Your ancestry DNA. <laughs> Okay. Is uh so she is okay, so she's kind of wound up tight sometimes. But this quarantine has kind of loosened her up. She's been like when we get in arguments or something, they come back together much, much faster. Because I can't go anywhere. <laughs> she's working on stuff. Oh, and she's been cooking, like she said, she's been laying it down in the kitchen. Eat Corona Chef has been able to take some breaks, which I which I love because my love language a lot of times is acts of service and when she cooks for me all that stuff even though she still ain't rub my damn feet um i do appreciate that sort of thing and it's been wonderful and i love it and i've actually enjoyed quarantine like quarantine has been fun for me great for our family great for our okay, marriage that. yeah that was nice see that feels better I actually like say it, say what you just want. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, thank you guys for listening to the wife versus the expert. Experts always right, always right or never hey, wrong. I mean, the funny thing is it's like an oxymoron. 
Because it's clear that the wife is the expert. No, that's why. That's what that's what they tell you all the time. They're like, no, your wife is the expert. Your wife is the funny one. We all know that. No, it's like, no, that's not what they yeah. say. Yeah. That's what they say in the comments. That's what they say. No, it's Reister. Just know your always role. Always Reister, your never role, wrong. Your role is the, you know, the corny dad. Corny dad? You just called yourself corny to the kids the other day. I'm corny, but you're cornier. Whatever. We'll ask the kids. Thank you guys for listening to The Wife versus The Expert. We appreciate your time. Appreciate your energy. Please make sure that you guys shoot us an email. Uh, you can send it to either or hit us up on Twitter at Denisha Danielle at George Reister. The email is in the description. Uh, peace out. Catch you guys next episode. Stay oh. home. Yeah. Stay safe.